This is the story of a woman who is saved by a general and he welcomes her to his own house. As she starts to live with him, she falls in love with him and tries to woo him, but the general is loyal to his wife and could never betray her. Let's see what happens as they move forward. Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we will be going through the 2008 action fantasy film, Painted Skin. It's time to recall, let's get started, turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie starts and we see that the bandits are partying after robbing a town and the men are gathered around a beautiful woman and everyone wants to have her. Their leader, however, saves her and takes her to a room to satisfy his own needs. He tells her that he can do anything for her and would give her anything she desires, even his heart. The woman brushes his face with her sleek fingers and then she literally rips his heart out. We then get to know that the woman's name is Xiao Wei and she is an evil fox spirit. In order to maintain her beautiful appearance, she feasts on human hearts. She does so with wealthy and powerful men because their hearts are more powerful. She has a weapon that can be used to kill people and bring them back to life as well. As she kills the leader by ripping out his heart, General Wang Shang and his men attack the camp of the bandits and they fight for a long time before the general finally kills them. He then chances upon the maiden, who sits half naked, and he tosses a shawl towards her to cover herself up. He then carries her out of the camp without being aware of the identity of the woman. The other soldiers also welcome the girl and they bring her to their town. Xiao Wei has never felt compassionate toward any man before, but she ends up falling in love with General Wang. Much to her dismay, when she gets to the town, she finds out that he has a beautiful wife named Pei Rong and they love each other very much. The general's wife welcomes Xiao Wei and she starts to live with them. As time goes by, her feelings for Wang start to grow. One night, someone breaks into the town and Wang goes out to look for the intruder and when he finally finds him, he is unconscious. He sees that the intruder is actually an old friend of his and he is also a former general named Pang Yong. Wang trusts the man with his life, so they bring him to Wang's house and treat him. Pei Rong is shocked to see the former general because we get to know that before she got married to the current general, she used to be Pang Yong's girlfriend before he left the town after a battle and never got back for her. Pei Rong also notices that the arrival of the former general has been bothering her husband, so she goes on to make it abundantly clear to him that he is the only person she loves. As they talk, they start to get intimate, and as he looks at her face, he sees that the woman whom he's been talking to is not his wife, it's Xiao Wei. As he startles to see her face, he wakes up. It turns out he was dreaming all along. One thing he does not realize is that Xiao Wei is making him fall in love with her, and in his subconscious, he already has feelings for her. Xiao Wei is in her room when she is brought dinner by a maid, but she refuses to eat it, and the maid leaves. We then see a male spirit getting into her room. His name is Xiao Yi, and he is one of Xiao Wei's friends. He brings raw human hearts for her to eat. This is the person who has been bringing her human hearts every day so that she can maintain her beauty without getting suspected. On the other hand, in the town, a wave of fear goes by when the people discover so many dead bodies with no hearts. Different rumors start to float around. Wang takes action and doubles the security of the town, being adamant that he is going to find the killer. Pei Rong, on the other hand, starts to take care of the Pang Yong, who wakes up and right away apologizes to her for coming out there out of the blue, and he starts to walk away, saying that he might have drank too much. As he is about to leave, Wang asks him to stay in the town and help him find the killer, but Pang Yong refuses. That evening, Pang Yong goes to a restaurant, and there he meets a peculiar woman. Her name is Xia Bing, and he tells her that she is a demon hunter. Yong, however, does not believe her, saying that he does not believe there is anything like demons out there. Pei Rong then joins them and says that she thinks Xiao Wei is a demon because the murders started in the town ever since she made her way there. She then goes on to recall an incident in the shop where a man was angry and yelling, but when Xiao Wei asked the man to stop, he did. It felt like Xiao Wei could literally hypnotize other people. Pei Rong then decides that she is going to confirm the identity of the woman. Pei Rong becomes more and more suspicious of Xiao Wei after a diviner told her that Xiao Wei is actually a demon, and then she accidentally cut Xiao Wei, but Xiao Wei showed no sign of bleeding. She even takes her to temple to see if anything happens to her when she is in a holy place, but nothing happens, and Xiao Wei stays totally normal. Pei Rong then approaches Pang Yong for help. She tells him that she could ask her husband to do that for her, but he is going to laugh at her if she mentioned a demon in front of him. They go to the girl who claims to be a demon killer, and upon being told the whole story, Xia Bing is interested in the case. In the next scene, we see that Yang goes to the cemetery where the dead bodies of the recent victims have been kept. They see that the hearts have been sucked out of the body in a very skillful manner. They now know that whoever is doing this is very skillful, and they know what they are doing. As he is in the cemetery, Bing appears there and shows Yang a stone. 
This stone starts to glitter if it is in the presence of a demon within 10 miles. She tells them that she has come to the town using the stone, but she has no luck when it comes to finding the spirit, not so far. They further look into things that have been going on in the town and come to find out that all the murderers have been happening around the general's house. They are now even more suspicious of Xiao Wei. That night, Yang comes across Xiao Yi, the chameleon spirit who shows unrequited love towards Xiao Wei and helps her obtain the human hearts she needs. He is about to attack the girl who is the demon killer, but Yang comes between them and then he manages to run away. During the confrontation, Xia Bing's leg gets injured and Yang tends to her wounds. They then start to talk about the boy who attacked them and end up concluding that he was just a thief. The demon killer then shows a stick to Yang, telling him that it was given to her by her father and she adds that no one would be able to take the cap off this stick unless they are a demon killer. Yang tries to take it off, but he is unable to do so. The next day, Xia Bing, Yang, and the commander of the army go to see General Wang and tells him about Xiao Wei being a demon. He right away looks at his wife in disappointment, being aware that she is the one who started the rumor and he does not believe what he is told because he does not believe in demons. He then tells them that he is not going to let an innocent girl get accused of murdering people. However, the other people then tell him that there is no harm in conducting an inspection, just to be sure. As everyone gathers in the main hall, most of the soldiers take Xiao Wei's side and they are just with her because of her beauty. The other party keeps insisting that the accusation must be confirmed or denied with proper investigation. Yang then moves forward to cut the girl's hand to prove that she is a demon, but Wang stops him, saying the girl is innocent. Pei Rong then says that if Wang does not want the girl to be bled, they can look for her demon mark and that mark should be on her body. They then take her to a room and as they take off her clothes, they are unable to find any marks. Wang then gets angry and asks everyone to get out of there. He is absolutely furious at his wife as he thinks that she did everything out of pure jealousy. He then asks his wife to apologize to Xiao Wei and when she does, Xiao Wei asks her to let her be Wang's mistress and it shocks both Pei Rong and Wang. Wang then goes on to tell Xiao Wei there can only be one first lady and that is his wife. Wang tells Xiao Wei that he truly cares about her but he is never going to betray his wife. That night, when Wang sleeps, he sees a dream in which he sees Xiao Wei naked in a pool. He gets close to her and they make love. Wang then wakes up and finds himself covered in sweat and short of breath. He right away goes to see Xiao Wei in her room and when she starts to take off her clothes, he stops her saying that she is too good to be someone's mistress. He tells the woman that she deserves a loving husband and she asks him to be her husband but Wang tells her that he really loves his wife and cannot break her heart. As he sees the two talking, Xiao Yi turns jealous and attacks Wang but is driven away. Amidst all the chaos, Pei Rong notices that her husband was in Xiao Wei's room. She gets upset and tells him that she is willing to let go of him if he is in love with Xiao Wei, but he denies it. Xiao Yi, on the other hand, meets Xiao Wei again later. She is so furious that she shouts at him to leave, despite him warning her that love between demons and humans is impossible and pleading with her to allow him to remain by her side. Xiao Wei, however, tells him to get out of there and goes on to add that she does not ever want to see his face again. The next night, Pei Rong's suspicions about Xiao Wei are confirmed when she chances upon Xiao Wei peeling off her human skin right in front of her and revealing her true form. Pei Rong and Xiao Wei come to an agreement. Xiao Wei promises to stop killing people. In return, Pei Rong offers her place as Wang Shang's rightful spouse to Xiao Wei and takes the blame for the murders. Xiao Wei gives Pei Rong a potion to drink, after which Pei Rong's hair turns white and her features become demonic. The city's residents are horrified when they see Pei Rong and think that she is the demon. Just as Pei Rong is about to be killed by the citizens, Pang Yong and Xia Bing show up, save her and bring her to a cave. Pei Rong keeps telling Yong that she is a demon and Bing tells Yong that she knows what has happened to her appearance as she recognizes the poison that has been given to her through the symptoms she is showing. Bing says that she is close to death because the lighter the color of the poison, the more fatal it is. Pei Rong is gradually turning white. Not long later, Wang Shang, his soldiers, and members of his household, including Xiao Wei, come to the cave. Wang Shang swears to kill Pei Rong if she really is a demon and is responsible for all the murders, but also expresses his love for her at the same time. Pei Rong then impales herself with a dagger Wang is holding onto and dies in his arms. Xiao Wei tries to gain Wang Yang's affection by moving closer to him, but he takes no notice of her and continues to weep while holding on to his dead wife's body. At this point, Xiao Wei realizes that Wang Shang will never truly love her. Peng Yang shouts to everyone that Xiao Wei is the real demon and then slashes her with his weapon to prove it, but her body is as hard as steel. Wang Shang approaches Xiao Wei and begs her to bring Pei Rong back to life. 
When Xiao Wei asks him what she will get if she restores Pei Rong to life, Wang replies that he loves her but he already has Pei Rong and then kills himself. The heartbroken Xiao Wei screams and reveals her true demon form. She then willingly attempts to bring Wang back to life with her magic powers in the form of a small orb. However, before she can do so, she is interrupted by Xiao Yi, who snatches away the orb and reprimands her for sacrificing all the powers she cultivated over thousands of years to save a man's life. He swallows the orb and he tells her he is going to bring her home. Peng Yang and Xia Bing fight with Xiao Yi and eventually slay him, but he kills Peng in the process. Xiao Wei retrieves the orb from Xiao Yi's body and another orb containing Xiao Yi's powers and uses them to bring every dead person in the cave back to life. In the last scene of the movie, Xiao Wei is shown manifested in her white fox form without her powers because she has already given them up to bring Pei Rong and Wang Shang back to life. This is where the movie ends. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.